What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're talking about the Model 3 proximity sensors. So to set this up, I basically just took a large object, TV box in this case, put it flush against the car, and then I started making my mark. So now that we have a nice line on the ground, I've marked it every foot for three feet, and I even marked the halfway mark on those just in case I needed them. And then from those lines, just drew out a, a long parallel line, just so I can see where exactly the box is gonna be positioned relevant to the car. All right, so here you can see exactly how I marked them, one foot, two foot, and three feet away from the car. So now we're gonna move the box all the way to the three foot line so we know from the front of the car to back there is three feet. And we're gonna slowly creep forward until we reach that one foot mark. And now that we've exactly reached 12 inches, we're just gonna simply put it in park, get out, and see exactly how far away from the box we are. And it turns out it is actually surprisingly accurate to that one foot mark. Uh, you can see here, probably within an inch, uh, I didn't take out a ruler and really measure the centimeters or anything, but you can see from the lines I drew there, we are pretty much exactly one foot away from that object in front of the car. Now if we try to go any closer, unfortunately, the car just tells us to stop. So anything closer than one foot, if it's in inches, it won't display it, it just tells you to stop. So we're gonna have to go to the next second foot. So we're gonna attempt here to go exactly 24 inches, which I put it in park at 24 and it adjusted to 23, like right as I did that. So 23-ish inches, uh, we're probably on the cusp of 24 there. And again, as you see here, we are probably within an inch of accuracy between the line on the two foot mark there all the way over uh, for the car there but this is where it gets interesting so the car can only sense up to 34 inches from what I could tell and you can see this is actually much further than 34 inches so 36 inches is three feet and this is probably roughly 40 inches three feet and some change there uh, but the car is telling us it's 34 inches so it couldn't discern anything more accurate than that once you reach beyond the three foot line so it seems one foot and two foot within that range is pretty accurate uh, but once you reach outside of that we start getting into some wishy-washy territory and just for your reference on the front here this is where the proximity sensors are located so they are pretty much on the front edge of the car the closest part of the car that is going to be hitting something uh, but that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this just kind of gave you guys somewhat of a perspective on how accurate these sensors are in real world application. Obviously, I use a flat object, which is probably one of the easier objects, uh, but I just wanted to keep it simple for this video just to show off or see, uh, I didn't even know what would happen, how accurate those sensors actually were. If you like this video or if you had any comments or you just want to talk tech or anything, leave a comment below. I will definitely get back to you. I do read all the comments down there. Otherwise, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.